Shalom, shalom. In today's message, I want to tell you that religion is no match for righteousness. Let's talk about it. to the most high Yah shalom thank you for tuning in to another righteous spiritful episode today i'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business man when it comes to righteousness we find you know being filled with his ruach keeping his law statutes and commandments we see you know that that is righteousness being in right standing with the most high Yah. that's why the word talks about walking upright but what we have and what society you know the world has been whitewashed with is religion and you'll find out that religion is no match for righteousness you know when we look at who will not inherit the kingdom when we look at who will be told to part ways it's the religious people it's the people that have done all of this, this performance and performing and signs and lying wonders. They are the ones that are going to be told to part ways because they're workers of iniquity. That means lawless. Man, oftentimes in religion, people are not gonna give you concrete answers. And oftentimes when it comes to topics of sin, salvation, they're not, they're not giving you concrete answers because they're avoiding the front half of the book. You have somebody take one man, one wife that they found in the back half of the book and then will try to say that a man having multiple wives is a sin. Wait a minute, in order to find out what sin is, we gotta go to the front of the book. We gotta go to Torah, first five books, because sin is the transgression of the law. So we must go to the law that the Most High Yah gave to Moses. It ain't Moses' law, but people call it the Mosaic law. No, these are the laws of the Most High Yah. And then, furthermore, the Most High Yah tell us these laws are pure, they're a light. Tells us ain't nothing wrong with them. Said he found fault in them. Man, you have people that get caught up in these religions, sucked into these religions, and they're void of doing what's in the book. You know? You have people going to a church on a day that's not commanded, and when they ask you, you know, to come down to their church and you respond with, no, I keep the Sabbath, they'd be like, what you talking about the Sabbath? Like, religion will never be a match for righteousness. It just never will. And, and furthermore, the Most High Yah gives us definitive answers in the Bible. He tells us what religion is. He says, pure religion, when you look behind that word religion, you'll find worship. Pure religion or pure worship is to take care of the widows and the orphans in their afflictions and to keep oneself unspotted from the world. So dang, how many people that call themselves religious genuinely do that as a form of pure worship? And then he talks about, you know, if you got all this, this doing all this nonsense, you need to brittle your tongue. How many times do we see these religious leaders you know give their feelings give their facts give their opinions you know call themselves studying the bible with these wednesday night bible studies 
but ain't nobody got no concordance out. Ain't nobody got no lexicon, you know. People using the doggone Merriam-Webster dictionary to try to find out the meaning that came from an agricultural people, a Semitic people, you know, an Eastern people, thinking they're gonna have understanding. This is why you will sit up and listen to a, a pastor talk about sow a seed when agricultural people put actual seeds in soil. That's who the people of the Most High Yah were were farmers for shepherds. They were farmers, they were shepherds. But you would hear somebody in a suit talk about sowing a seed and they've got you trained thinking about money, thinking that that means money. When it comes to, you know, idolatry, Religion don't want to touch that because it's all idolatry. Every time they you in one of these places and they're doing their Christmas service, idolatry. You know, Halloween, they got candy for the kid, idolatry. You know, Valentine's Day, idolatry. It's all rooted in idolatry. Pagan, heathen gods. When the Most High Yah tells you the penmanship of the scribes is in vain, you got people that don't believe that. You know, don't believe that. And they'll they'll read this easy to read text that says other nations where at one time said Gentile or heathen. Religion is no match for righteousness. You have people in religion that keep what they call Christian observances. I ain't never read not once about no damn Christian observance in the book. But what I have read about and keep is the feast days of the Most High Yah. You can't make this stuff up. Looks good on paper. Reading about the ways of John Calvin and, uh, you know, replacement theology, theologians, and you can't make this stuff up. Religion will never be righteousness. Closer to Yah Ministries, kicking the gun barrel straight. Bow.